Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now, it seems like you guys really enjoy these type of videos where I talk about brands and basically how they started and just how they're currently going. Now, if you are coming from the previous video where I talk about AMD, you probably know that there was a lot of hate and love for AMD. A lot of you guys were talking about Intel, which we are going to be diving today. So today, we are going to be diving into the deep rollercoaster journey of one of the biggest names in the tech industry, Intel. From groundbreaking innovations to unexpected stumbles, we'll cover it all, so let's jump right in. So I'm first with a bit of a history lesson. Intel was founded in 1968 by Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore, two pioneers in semiconductor innovation. Intel's big break came in 1971 with the release of the world's first microprocessor, the Intel 4004. This tiny chip revolutionized computing and laid the groundwork for a digital age we are living in today. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Intel continued to dominate the market with its x86 microprocessor architecture becoming synonymous with personal computing. Their Intel Insight campaign was a stroke of marketing genius, cementing Intel's brand in the minds of customers worldwide. But the tech world is never static. By the early 2000s, competition from AMD started heating up. AMD's F1 processors began to challenge Intel's superiority, offering similar or better performance at lower prices. Intel had to innovate quickly to stay ahead. In response, Intel launched its Core series in 2006, which was a game changer. The Core 2 Duo processors were praised for their efficiency and performance, helping Intel regain its lead. However, Intel's journey wasn't without its stumbles. In recent years, Intel faced significant delays in transitioning to smaller nanometer processors, which are crucial for creating faster and more effective chips. Competitors like AMD and TSMC capitalized on this, searching ahead in the market. AMD's rise in processors built on TSMC's advanced manufacturing processors have been a massive hit, capturing significant market share from Intel. Intel's struggles with 10 nanometer and 10 nanometer processors have been well documented, causing frustration among consumers and investors alike. But Intel is not one to back down easily. Under the leadership of CEO Pat Gelsinger, who took the helm in 2021, Intel has embarked on an ambitious comeback strategy. Gelsinger has emphasized doubling down on manufacturing with plans to build new fabs in the US and Europe. Intel is also focusing on new technologies like AI, 5G, and autonomous driving, aiming to diversify its portfolio and reduce reliance on the traditional PC market. With the recent release of Meteor Lake and the Alder Lake processors, it is showing good progress and showing good hope for Intel in the future. Intel's journey is a testament to the dynamic nature of the tech industry. From early triumphs to modern day challenges, Intel's story is far from over. With a renewed focus on innovation and leadership, the future looks promising. What do you think? Will Intel regain its former glory? Let us know in the comments below. But otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. And don't worry, I will be working on a video that will be coming out very soon talking about NVIDIA's growth in the tech industry because, let's be honest, NVIDIA has been around for long and they are releasing big things very soon. But otherwise, if, if you guys enjoyed, hit that subscribe button. There's more videos like this coming to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.